everyone, it's Laura here from Telelink. I just wanted to pop on today and talk about something that's uh, near and dear to our hearts at Telelink, uh, and that's the topic of working alone. And I wanted to talk about that today because with everything that's going on with the pandemic and physical distancing requirements, there's a lot of changes happening in our workplace right now, not just around working alone, around a lot of areas, but in particular, there are now companies who, <laughs> and here's my cat, all the joys of working from home. Um, there's a lot of companies that have never had lone workers, and now all of a sudden with, you know, one person at a time in the office, or, um, you know, maybe you used to send two people out to a job site, now you're only sending one you all of a sudden have lone workers. And if that's not something you've ever dealt with before, um, you know, there's a, there's a whole kind of suite of things that you have to do around that from a health and safety perspective. And then if you do have lone workers, if that's something that you're already familiar with, it's quite likely that you have other people in your organization now that qualify as lone workers that maybe didn't before. And we know that if you know you have risks, they're often amplified by the fact that someone is working alone because it's, it could take longer to get help to that person. It may take longer to figure out if there's something wrong. So there's all kinds of different ways that this plays into your, your loan worker policy, um, you know, what's actually going on right now around the pandemic. So we just wanted to talk about that, um, bring that up. It's a really good time to reassess those policies and procedures. And on that note, we have a loan worker policy um, it's something that we normally give uh, new customers that sign on with us so they don't have to reinvent the wheel. It includes things like, you know, your standard policy things like roles and responsibilities, but also talks about, you know, how do you ensure um, two-way communication in every operating environment? What uh, should your check-in procedure be? What should your escalation procedure be? And this is all based on the regulations that we see across the provinces in Canada. So it's designed to, to give you kind of a compliant policy. So if you want that, if you, even if it's, if you already have something, you just want to kind of spot check and make sure that you've got all your, your ducks in a row. <laughs> yes. Um, or if you want it just because you, now you realize you have loan workers, then just pop me a comment below and I will send that to you. Um, and if you have any questions, <laughs> about loan working or about cats. <laughs> um, just, uh, yeah, just give me a call, send me a message. I'm, uh, we're here as a resource during this time. So I hope everyone is healthy and safe and take care of each other.